Genius Kids. Cultivating Love for Learning. Chapter 16 Pollution. Knowledge Acquisition. Pollution can be defined as any undesirable change is the physical, chemical, or biological properties of air, water, or land. Pollutants are the undesirable substances that are added to air, water, or land. Pollution can mainly be of three types, air pollution, water pollution, and land or soil pollution. Air and water pollution will be discussed in this chapter. Discussion Jack Yes, of course the pollution of the city is at its peak now a days. Susie Hey Jack, what happened? Jack I am really worried about the rising pollution. Susie Let's read the chapter to find out the ways to prevent or control it. Susie, let's read the chapter then to find out the ways to prevent or control it. Pollution Definition Any undesirable change in the physical, chemical or biological properties of air, water or land is called pollution. Pollutants Substances that cause pollution are called pollutants. Types Broadly, Pollution can be of three types. 1. Air pollution. 2. Water pollution. 3. Land or soil pollution. Air pollution. A. Definition. Any undesirable change in the physical, chemical or biological properties of air is called air pollution. Pollutants that cause air pollution are called air pollutants. B. Sources of air pollution, on the basis of their origin. 1. Natural sources. Volcanoes. Ashes. Forest fire, etc. 2. Artificial or man-made sources. Industries. Deforestation. Vehicles. C. On the basis of their ability to undergo degradation. 1. Biodegradable sources. These are those that can be degraded by nature, for example, vegetation ash, etc. 2. Non-biodegradable sources. These are those that cannot be easily degraded by nature, for example, explosives, etc. D. Common air pollutants. 1. Carbon monoxide Colorless gas Odorless gas Most important air pollutant Produced by incomplete combustion of fuels Effects Carbon monoxide can combine with hemoglobin, red-colored blood pigment to form carboxyhemoglobin. Due to the formation of carboxyhemoglobin, the supply of oxygen is reduced in the body that, in turn, results in dizziness, headache and can even lead to death. 2. Carbon Dioxide Carbon dioxide is present in a particular amount in environment, it is not a pollutant. But if its concentration is increased above the permissible level then it acts as a very prominent greenhouse gas. Effects Greenhouse Effect it is the phenomenon of the rise in temperature of the Earth's crust due to the absorption of solar radiation by greenhouse gases. This heat energy absorbed can't escape back into the space. Critical thinking Giraffes can live longer without water than camels. Greenhouse effects is not a curse because without greenhouse effect our Earth's temperature would not have been sustainable to live in but if this effect gets pronounced due to the increased concentration of greenhouse gases then for sure it is a matter of concern because it can lead to global warming. Global warming is thus the outcome of enhanced greenhouse effect. Oxides of Nitrogen 
There are a large number of oxides of nitrogen, but only two are considered to be pollutants nitric oxide NO, and nitrogen dioxide NO2. NO2 is a suffocating gas having a pungent smell. It is reddish brown in color, and NO is a colorless and an odorless gas. Nitrogen dioxide and nitrogen oxide are released into atmosphere by vehicular emissions, industrial sources, and through incomplete combustion of fossil fuels like coal, crude oil, and natural gas. Nitrogen oxide as such is not hazardous in the appropriate concentration, but nitrogen dioxide can lead to several different environmental impacts such as formation of photochemical smog and acid rain. Effects A. Photochemical smog Smog is derived from two words as smoke and fog. Photochemical smog is formed due to the action of sunlight on hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides NOx. Hydrocarbon plus NOx plus sunlight, photochemical smog. Photochemical smog causes irritation in eyes, decreased immunity and less visibility due to hatch formation. B. Acid rain. When excessive amount of nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides gets absorbed in the atmosphere, they combine with falling rainwater so as to form sulfuric and nitric acid. This rain carrying these acids is called acid rain. Acid deposition is the more correct word to be used to refer to acid rain, acid snow, etc. Harmful effects of acid rain. Acid rain increases the acidity of rivers, lakes and streams that is, in turn threatening aquatic life. Acid rain falling onto the vegetation can kill it directly. Damage to buildings and our sculptural material is one of the dangerous effects of acid rain. Sulfuric acid present in the acid deposition reacts with calcium of limestone, marble, sandstone and granite to form yellow gypsum that flakes off later. CaCO3 plus H2SO4 CaSO4 plus CO2 plus H2O. Acid rain is very much hazardous to us too as acidification of soil can result in release of toxic metals from soil that ultimately reach our water supplies. Toxic metals can cause cold, allergies, coughs, etc. Oxides of sulfur, SO, X, they are released due to combustion of fossil fuels, volcanic eruptions, etc. Effect A. Acid rain As it is already discussed, sulfur dioxide combines with rainwater to form sulfuric acid to form acid rain. B. Sulfur dioxide also lays down damaging effects on plants and animals. C. Damages buildings and sculptural materials. Freons or chlorofluorocarbons, CFC. CFCs are the gases released from aerosol sprays, refrigerating equipments, etc. They are made up chlorine and fluorine. CFCs are responsible for ozone layer depletion. Lead Lead is the air pollutant discharged from vehicular emissions, paint industries, and from lead batteries. It can cause several human health problems like nervous disorders, digestive discomfort, and respiratory illness, etc. Critical Thinking Ozone layer depletion 90% of the ozone is present in the stratosphere of the atmosphere, and only 10% is in the troposphere. Stratospheric ozone protects us from the harmful UV radiation of sun. Whereas tropospheric ozone acts as an environmental pollutant. Depletion of stratospheric ozone is caused by fluoro or chlorofluorocarbons, nitric oxide, hydroxy radicals, and oxygen. Effects of depletion of ozone layer Due to depletion of ozone layer, our Earth is getting more and more exposed to UV radiation. UV radiation can cause blindness and cancer.
As ozone is a greenhouse gas so it can also lay pronounced impact on surrounding climate. Suspended particulate matter SPM SPM comprises of any liquid or solid matter dispersed in air. SPM includes aerosol, dust, fumes, moisture, smoke and fly ash. Sources of SPM include burning of wood, coal, industries, volcanoes, etc. Effects A in the case of human beings, SPM can enter the lungs and can cause lung cancer, asthma, etc. B in the case of materials, SPM can form a smoky layer on them and can even corrode the materials if they are corrosive in nature. Prevention of air pollution Air pollution is one of the alarming challenges faced by the entire world. Some of the methods that can be used for prevention of air pollution are enlisted below. Switch over to the use of unleaded fuels. Make use of catalytic converters that can convert harmful pollutants into harmless compounds. Use of sulfur should be minimized. Wastes from the industries must be treated prior to their discharge into the atmosphere. Encourage afforestation and plantation. Carpooling and use of public transport should be chosen over private vehicles. Bicycles must be preferred over fuel-based vehicles. Laws must be made strict over checking of air pollution. CNG-based vehicles must be favored over petrol-based vehicles. CFC substitutes as hydrochlorofluorocarbons (HCF) must be encouraged. Water pollution. Definition. Any undesirable change in the physical, chemical or biological properties of water is called water pollution. Substances that cause water pollution are called as water pollutants. Sources of water pollution. There are two types of sources of water pollution on the basis of their location. A point sources. These are those that are located at a fixed point and are discharging the pollutants from there. B diffused sources. These are those that are scattered over areas thus causing pollution from scattered sites. Types of water pollution. Types of water pollution are the following. A surface water pollution, pollution of surface water bodies. B underground water pollution. Pollution of underground water like that within soil or under rocks. Pollution of underground water bodies is caused by pesticides mainly. C. Microbiological water pollution. Pollution of water caused by microbes is called microbiological water pollution. It is caused by algae, protozoa, viruses, bacteria, etc. D. Industrial water pollution. Water pollution caused by the runoff from different types of industries. Examples of industrial pollutants include solvents, pesticides, petroleum, chemicals, fertilizers, etc. Causes of water pollution. The causes of water pollution are the following. A. Domestic wastes. Vegetable peels, soaps, detergents, polythene bags, paper bags, etc. are all water pollutants generated in houses. These pollutants can block the drains. B. Industrial wastes. Industrial wastes comprise of toxic chemicals such as arsenic, cadmium, lead, zinc, etc. All these pollute the water and when ultimately reach the human body can cause a number of diseases. C. Radioactive wastes. Atomic power plants release radioactive wastes. Radioactive wastes degrade very slowly and take a number of years to degrade completely. Deposition of these wastes in water bodies can pollute water. Radioactive discharge can affect crops, livestock and man. Effects of water pollution. 
Water pollution is a health hazard. It can affect plants, animals and human beings. Some of the potential effects of water pollution are as enlisted as Heavy metals accumulation in water bodies can threaten the aquatic life. Industrial wastes that get accumulated in water bodies reach the human drinking water through food chains. They can lead to immunity suppression, reproduction failure, respiratory illness, etc. Microbial or pathogenic pollutants cause infectious diseases. An outbreak of a waterborne infection is not only difficult to treat but also difficult to control. Eutrophication is one of the chief effects of water pollution. It is the process of formation of algal mat over the surface of water body. This algal mat, in turn, blocks the sunlight from reaching the base of the water body and deoxygenate the water. As a result of which sources become deficient for aquatic organisms. Eutrophication generally occurs in the case of that water body which is rich in nutrients. Critical thinking 25% of the world's population is without safe drinking water. Prevention of water pollution Water pollution can be prevented by following the methods enlisted below. Don't throw undesirable substances in the water streams. Try to prevent the undesirable runoff of water from taps. Environment-friendly products must be used. Wastes from industries must be recycled. Effect of pollution on Taj Mahal, a case study. The Taj Mahal in Agra, India, is one of the world's great sites, but it is in danger of being irreparably damaged by air and water pollution. Twelve years ago, the government started a program to save the monument, with Bill Clinton saying that pollution had done what 350 years of wars, invasions and natural disasters have failed to do. In 1998, when the white marble of the famous monument began to turn yellow, warning bells went off. India's Supreme Court ordered that more than £90 million be spent on restoring the country's most famous monument. Conservationists have taken a number of steps to curb pollution in Agra which is a growing manufacturing centre. Cars have been banned from within 500 metres of the monument. An LED display gives a running tally on air pollution. Diesel-run rickshaws have been replaced by cleaner vehicles, a road bypass has been created and there has been heavy investment in a refinery to reduce emissions. But despite these actions, a new report has found that pollution levels have increased dramatically, so much so that emissions of nitrogen oxide have reached higher levels than those of 12 years ago. There are several reasons for the problem. The city of Agra has grown in size, industry and population. Fumes from greater traffic have made the Taj Mahal dirty again. There are thousands of vehicles plying the roads and emitting pollutants at an alarming level. The city roads are so congested that for a 15 minutes drive, one has to spend and are thus consuming more fuel and emitting more pollutants. With a greater population, there is more demand for water which has meant that the water table is dropping in the river which runs beside the monument. However, the foundations of the building are made of wood which must be kept moist to avoid subsidence. In addition, the water is heavily polluted because of the discharges from factories and from human waste. This clogs up drains around the building. Continuous Review Pollution can be defined as any undesirable change in the physical, chemical or biological properties of air, water or land. Pollution is mainly of three types air, water and land or soil pollution. Photochemical smog is the smog formed due to the action of sunlight on hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides. Rain carrying sulfuric acid and nitric acid is called the acid rain. 
Ozone is the protective umbrella of Earth crust as it blocks harmful UV radiation from reaching the Earth. Air pollutants like CFCs, oxygen, nitrogen oxides, and hydroxy radicals are depleting stratospheric ozone. There are two sources of water pollution point sources and man-made sources. Causes of water pollution include domestic wastes, industrial wastes, and radioactive wastes. Like, share, and subscribe.